Today I have two padlocks from Adelaide here. Now these are a railroad lock that was very common in the 1940s. It uses a lever system and the way it works is you move this key protector, this keyway protector out of the way, insert the key, rotate the key with a substantial amount of pressure, release the shackle, and then the lever will snap the key back home. Now these locks are very interesting because there's a severe vulnerability inside of them. I purchased this lock about 10 years ago and when I got it, I decided I wanted to try to find a way to get into it without using the key. And so what I did was I looked for clues and on the lock, I was able to find this. Here you can see that it says uh, patent 20404821. Now I looked that patent up and I was able to discover something very interesting. On this lock, there are two levers. One lever that protects the heel and one lever that engages with the toe right here. Now, if you were able to move both of those out of the way in that order, with this specific lock, you were able to unlock it. And I thought that was very interesting. So I wanted to explain how this exploit works and uh, just kind of piece through it. So here we actually have the patent and you can see here the toe is engaged with the shackle here and the heel is engaged with the shackle here. Without both of these pieces removed, you would be unable to open the lock. So what I do is I use a tool to push in, lifting the bottom lever and removing it from the heel. And then I use a second tool that is thinner to come in and engage with the top lever. The way this looks in practice is you take a locked Adlake padlock, open up the keyway, insert your tool, and engage with that bottom lever. You can, you know when you got it because there is a spring that responds. Right now I'm letting it spring back on me. So you insert, and then to the right of the keyway, you push up on that top lever, just like that. This attack was really fun for me to make, and I was recently reminded of it, and I just thought I would share it. This was fun.